Hello friends, Kunal here and today we will be looking at a small program that takes a number as an input and reverses the number and displays the result as an output. And to do that, we will be using a tool called Raptor. Raptor is an amazing tool which will help you to build your logic and it also at the same time not only just draws a flowchart but it will also execute and show you the output uh, you can basically do a line by line uh, debugging if you want to uh, and just like putting checkpoints or breakpoints in your program you can use the line by line editor in the raptor tool to check line by line what the output is what are the various stages of your program what are the different values that get assigned when you run your program and see where you have made a mistake or not so this is an amazing tool not only does it draw a flowchart it also tests your output at the same time you can generate a uh, code in any of the language so there are a lot of languages that you can generate your code in so you can generate it in c sharp ada c plus plus vba and of course java 5 so if you want to do that you could do that as well <coughs> so uh, we'll begin with uh, uh, we, we we are going to take a small number we are going to take a number we are going to write the logic that will uh, essentially reverse the number. So let's begin. All right. So to do that, let's take an input box and ask the user to input a number. So enter a number. Let's store that in a variable called num. Cool. Now what I basically want to do is get a number and uh, do some arithmetic operations through which I keep on getting one digit of the, that number. So I extract a digit of that number, save it to a variable and keep on doing that. So let's see how we can reverse a number using uh, programming or coding or you know uh, something called iteration. And I'll explain that in a while. All right. So we have we have a input box. So the input box would basically ask or prompt the user to enter a number. And next, what we want to do is we want to get an we want to declare an variable. So let's call it reverse. And I will assign zero to reverse first because we want to begin with zero. Now here's the interesting part. I want to do some steps repeatedly until a specific condition is met. And for that, I would be using a loop, which basically is a for loop. Now, Raptor, you can implement the loop as a for loop, as a while loop, or as a do while loop. And as we progress along, I'll be posting more videos on how you can use Raptor for uh, all, all kind of uh, looping. Not only looping, but Raptor also supports creating functions. You can create uh, recursive processes. And we'll be covering all those difficult DSA dynamic programming problems using this, this kind of approach so that... Uh, you as a learner will be able to appreciate each step at a time. All right. So I have selected a loop. Now what I basically want to do is these three operations. Exactly in the, this order. So in the first step, I want to set a variable i to num percentage 10. And for those of you, oh sorry, it's percentage. So for those of you who don't 
don't know what a percentage is what basically a percentage operator does is it uh, returns the remainder of that operation so in my example I have num whatever the number that the user has entered if I divide it by 10 whatever is the remainder would be stored in I typically the remainder would be the last digit of a number so if let's assume the number being uh, 532 then 532 divided by 10 uh, will leave a remainder of 2 so I get the last digit through this operation all right so once I do that I have this last digit and now what I will do next is I will assign this digit I will add it to reverse That's I but at the same time I will have to do something with this reverse so that I get all the other digits added up to it also so to do that I will assign reverse plus i back to reverse cool now there's a step missing here and i've left it out intentionally just so that uh, we will cover that step after we complete the loop so those of you who know this already might be wondering why have i left that out i have left that out intentionally so that uh, people who are new would understand better all right so I have taken the last digit out of num, uh, extracted the last digit from the number, and I had I have added it to reverse. And after doing that operation, I am reassigning whatever the result is back to reverse. So let's take our example again: 582 percentage 10 or modulo 10 is 2. Reverse is 0. So 0 plus 2 will be 2 and now reverse becomes 2. Cool. So now the value of reverse is 2. This is 2 now. And the last step is, now since I have extracted 2, I don't, so out of 5, 82, 2 has been extracted. So I just want 5, 5 and 8 now. I don't want the 2 left out in that number so what i will do is i'll set the number back again to the floor of n by 10. now the floor function will return the integer value of that particular operation in this case n by 10 will be 580 58.2 and the integer value of 58.2 is 58. So I get 58 back into num and now I want to keep on repeating this process till n becomes 0. So I put my condition as n becomes 0. Now this is just one step I said was missing here. Alright. So I will want to shift this reverse one step towards the left. So initially when we began, if you remember reverse was 2 and number became 58. When I do num percentage 10 again, 58 modulo 10 will give me 8 back. I don't want to do 2 plus 8. I want to do 20 plus 8 to give me 28. And that's how I will reverse that number. And to do that, I will have to multiply this reverse by 10. So I'll multiply it by 10 and I'm done. And I can check my output here. So if I want to check this output, I can say the reverse of the number is and reverse. So whatever is the reverse will be displayed in now. Let's see. Let's run it line by line. So I begin by clicking this button here. So this is this button will play the program 
line by line. So you can actually debug what is or see what is happening. Enter a number. All right. Let's enter a number. Let's say 582. Let's stick to our example. So, okay, cool. I have entered the loop. Oh, I'm sorry. I made a mistake there. So this has to be num because there is no n. The input variable was num. So now we should be good. Yeah. So 582. All right. Let's go. Reverse is zero. We enter the loop. Num becomes zero. You have the uh, till num becomes zero. This loop will keep on executing. Right now, reverse is zero, and you can see the values here on the left hand panel. Now, reverse is reverse into 10 plus i. Reverse is zero initially. Multiplied by 10 is zero. Plus i is two. So, reverse should be two, and it is. So, reverse becomes two. You can see this. You go on. Oh, made that same mistake again. So we'll have to just, so it's num by 10. Let's be a little fast, 582. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Reverse is 2, num is 58 now. When the loop runs again, because of this operation, floor of num by 10, the num becomes 58 again. All right. Num is not 0 yet. So it will go through the loop again. Num percentage 10. So now i will become 8. And i becomes 8. So you can actually test your logic. And see how these variables store the values. Whether they are right or not. And can actually work out your program like this. Let's go on. So now reverse becomes 28. So reverse into 10. So 2 into 10 is 20 plus i. i became 8. So 20 plus 8 is 28 which is reverse. And now again we will floor the num by 10. So we should have num equal to 5 which it is. It's not 0 yet. So this should iterate again. 5 per modulo 10 or percentage 10 should give us 5. So i is 5. The reverse will become 285. And now num will become 0. And since this condition is met, it will exit the loop. And you can see the output in the console. The reverse of the number is 285. So cool. So this is an amazing tool. We will be building more complex pro uh, programs on this, test our logic, work out all the different data structures and algorithms by building our logic using Raptor. So I hope you like the video. Thank you so much.